New research to be presented at the 2019 General Assembly of the European Geosciences Union in Vienna, Australia, reveals that radioactive fallout from nuclear meltdowns and weapons testing is being stored in glaciers and it will be released and is being released as they're picking up and detecting parts of these elements in the atmosphere. And once again, they're trying to point the finger and say that global temperatures increasing are, are to blame. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here, but man thinking it's safe to go and stick nuclear stuff in ice, thinking it's never going to melt, is the initial problem, or we would not be dealing with this. But since they go and do these things and people turn a cheek, no one ever says anything. I'm like, oh, it'd be there for eons. And then the next 10 years, all of a sudden, stuff's melting down. Not going along with their theories, their timelines, and everything else. Well, they're saying that this is releasing radioactive material into the atmosphere in high concentrations. When this happens in the form of rain, it comes back down to the earth in the form of acid rain. But when it's locked within snow like this, it stays in these glaciers until everything melts down and then it's released. And they're saying sometimes in large amounts. Now, they're not specifically stating any certain areas, pinpointing any spots, but we know there's nuclear stuff all over the place. It's in the bottom of the oceans. And this collaboration they're talking about here involves Poland, Italy, and Canada. Too bad they don't have Russia in on that because they have a big mess to clean up up there near the Kara Sea and many other areas where they've dumped a lot of different stuff throughout the years, whether it's materials, subs themselves, weapons. This goes on on a larger scale than what people realize, but they're talking about this and you know, I'm not so sure what the outcome here is going to be because we don't know for sure where every location is here. Now just imagine if there was one spot that completely had a snow melt off around it and it's just exposed. It would be wise to know where the, that spot is and have, have a plan in place to deal with it. I mean, at this point, they seem to think that they can go out in the middle of the Arctic and just bury some of the stuff. But as they can tell now, that's not going to fix the issue. You know, I always talk about how they control this planet through the oil, through the fiat currency, through the electric, through every your taxes, through the system. There used to be a long, long time ago an ancient system on this planet. They tapped into the ley lines, into the inertia of this earth, and it produced the energy and the power, which it still does, for all. Except they dismantled that so they could control everyone. And in the process of trying to control everyone, this is one of the side effects, dealing with this nuclear energy and all this other stuff. They have anti-gravitics. They, they are 30, 40, 50, 60 years ahead of us out here in the public or more. So just think about that. They have technologies that could change everything. But as always, this comes down to controlling man. And when I see stories like this in the end, it always comes back to pointing a finger at us and blaming us, saying we're the problem. And that uh, we need to be taxed somehow because of it, right? Well, I'll leave a link below. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for more. This has been Dabu7. Much love, y'all.